So let's examine the following example that deals with the special theory of relativity and time dilation. So a light wave is defined as the distance that light would travel in a single year. So let's suppose we have a hypothetical spaceship that can travel at a speed that is equal to 99% of the speed of light in a vacuum. So 0.99 of C. Now using this hypothetical spaceship we want to find the time it would take for the spaceship to travel 50 light years by using a classical physics and by using b the special theory of relativity which implies time dilation so let's begin by with part a so classical physics basically does not take into account the special theory of relativity and that means in classical physics we we do not have time dilation and time is assumed to be an absolute quantity. So to find the time that would elapse on the spaceship, we first have to find how many meters a light wave travels in one year. So in one year light travels, the speed of light multiplied by how many seconds are found in one year. So 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second multiplied by 31 million 536,000 seconds in a single year. So the seconds will cancel and we see that our light travels a distance of 9.4608 times 10 to the 15 meters in a single year. Now, to calculate the total distance that is equivalent to 50 light years in meters, we take this quantity and multiply it by 50. That will give us the total distance our spaceship has to travel. So we take this and divide by the speed of the spaceship to give us the time in seconds. So this quantity divided by 0.99 times the speed of light in a vacuum 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and that gives us about 1.5927 times 10 to the 9 seconds. Now this is equivalent to about 50.51 years. So assuming classical physics, assuming that time is an absolute quantity, 50.51 years would pass on the spaceship and 50.51 years would pass on Earth. So this is the time that would elapse on the spaceship and on Earth because we're assuming time is absolute. Now, let's move on to part B. In part B, we have to take into consideration the special theory of relativity, which basically predicts time dilation. It tells us that the time for the astronauts on the spaceship would actually slow down as compared to the time on the people on Earth. So we have to use the following equation that we derived in the lecture on time dilation. So the change in t is equal to the change in t naught divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared divided by c squared where this change in t is the time that the people would experience on earth and change t naught is known as the proper time it's the time that the astronauts would actually feel inside the spaceship that is traveling with a velocity of v where c is the speed of light so basically we want to rearrange our equation and solve for delta t naught so delta t naught tells us the time that would elapse inside the spaceship. It tells us how long it would take for the spaceship to actually travel 50 light years. So 
we have delta T, which was basically calculated in part A. This is the time that people would experience on Earth. So basically, delta C multiplied by the square root of 1 minus V squared divided by C squared. Now, delta T in years is 50.51 years. And we multiply that by the square root of 1 minus 0 0.99 squared multiplied by C squared divided by C squared. So notice, the C squareds will cancel, and we have 1 minus 0 0.99 squared and we take the square root of that and we get about 0 0.141. We multiply that by 50.51 years and that gives us about 7.12 years. So basically, even though on earth the people would experience a change of 50.51 years, the people on the spaceship would only experience a change of 7.12 years. And this is the time it would take for that spaceship to travel a distance of 50 light years, assuming time dilation. So using the special theory of relativity, which predicts time dilation. So once again, Although 50.51 years would pass on Earth, as a result of the high speed of the spaceship, only 7.12 years would actually pass on the spaceship. Now note that not only would the clock slow down on the spaceship, but aging would also slow down on the spaceship. All the processes found inside the human body, all the biochemical processes would also slow down.